Do you often feel as well that sometimes those people become a part of you? Oh, and yes. That, do you do you try and shed them? Do you try to hold on to them? Like, do you do you like that? Like, to, because I don't think that's talked about enough. I think no. we hear about it in the extreme senses of method acting yeah. gone wrong, or yeah. like when it leads to like you know a. a the tragic event of yes. someone taking their own life. And we hear about it in those very yeah. extreme, but I don't think we talk about it enough with actors who are, you know, going about their day, taking on new roles and like how long it takes to become someone and then yeah. lose someone. And, yeah. you know, like right now, everyone's saying Austin Butler sounds like Elvis, Elvis. in every interview. And, and the thing like, is, I feel for him because I know that, that he's not putting that on. Yeah, of course not. It happens. You, and it's very different for every single person. But for me, it takes a while to to lose a character because if if you've done your job correctly, they weren't just a character. They were a part of you. You had to infuse this person with some of you. Yeah. <laughs> so they and they have to come from you. They're in your body. They use your voice. They use your face. They use your mannerisms. You create them together. They take up space within you. They take up a little bit of your heart because you have to mean the things you're saying. And when you finish the role, usually after what? a couple of months, three months, sometimes six, I'm about to play a character for a year, they are a part of you. And and what people don't realize is your body doesn't realize that it's not real. It thinks that this thing happening is you. Is you. Yeah. It's real. Yeah. So you have to, at the end of it, let your body know that it's okay to let this thing go. But it's going to take a while because you've learned to teach your body to do it quickly. Get to that person quickly. Re remove the thing that you know is your everyday life and get to the person that you're playing every day quickly. Mm. That's what you want. The yeah. quicker access. So now the access is really quick. And so, to the point where, well, now you don't really have to think about getting into the role because you're already there. Yeah. You wake up in the morning, you know, oh, I'm going to put this on and this is, and there we go. Do you look at your mirror and I'm here. There we go. Hi, nice to meet you. And, and at the end of a project, it takes some time. Some projects are easier, like getting out of the Blue Fairy, very easy. I didn't have to shoot for very long, so it was lovely. And I know it's fantasy, but, and it didn't cost me too much. Yeah. Getting out of Aretha, getting out of Harriet, getting out of Holly, very different things. Because I was there for months with these people. Holly was hilarious because she had a, her walk was very different. Someone sent me a video of me walking about on set. And I was like, that is not me. That's not me. Posture was different. Walk was different. Weight, the way I moved, my head was different. The way I spoke to people. And even my hair and makeup team were sort of like, you would come into the trailer and it was not you. That's not who we met. We met Holly most of the time and it would take a while to let them go. The person I just played, her name's Jacqueline. I spent three, four months with her and I still remember everything she went through as though it was me. And it takes time. Mm. If you mean it, yeah, yeah, yeah. it will take time.